at the lake, as you can see. Uh, and if you can see even from behind me, see this, see this uh, subdivision, all these houses back here. Uh, let's see, there you are, all these houses. Uh, very, very nice subdivision on not only on the lake but also on the golf course. And I remember a uh, year or so ago helping a mentee of mine that uh, uh, had a, a motivated seller there that uh, helped her get a house sold. I helped her acquire the house so she can uh, get it sold and she basically made her $25,000 off this, this property. So uh, this was my very, very first mentee a few, a few years ago. Uh, when I began uh, doing mentorship and coaching. And so I kind of, uh, not only is it a nice place that I can kind of come out and sit and pray and things of that nature, but uh, I was able to help my very, very, very first mentee uh, make $25,000 off of her very, very first deal. And it was a deal that was actually pretty complex. Uh, she was going to lose the deal had she not had my help. Or, and it didn't have to be my help, but any help. But for the most part, it was my help because not everybody uh, had the knowledge to pull off of what we were able to pull off there. Uh, that particular property had uh, two major tax liens on it. One was uh, $90,000. $90,000. And then another was thirty. dollars Three thousand dollars, somewhere in there, it was over a hundred thousand dollars in tax liens on that property. I would also tell you that the seller uh, didn't walk away with anything other than the relief of being burdened by a home that she could no longer afford, and the burden of the taxes that were piling up. And you might think that that was not fair to her that she didn't get anything. Well, no, it, it would not be fair to us to help her from going into foreclosure and having a bad credit record to keep her from getting able, being able to get into another house, as well as the burden of the taxes that she couldn't shake no matter what, a hundred plus thousand dollars of taxes. That, uh, being able to help her out of that situation uh, for something that, that we didn't even create, that's how we ended up getting our compensation of, like I said, twenty-five thousand dollars for that, and she was completely fine uh, with it. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you about over buying on a property. Uh, if you haven't done your first deal yet, if you haven't done your second deal yet, uh, I'm talking to you because I know the story of going through seminars paying $10,000, $20,000, dollars even $50,000 uh, in those seminars and walking out and not being able to squat. Uh, in fact, I would tell you these folks that put these seminars on, these nice fancy seminars at these hotel ballrooms and, you know, having all the milk and cookies for you to eat while you're there and basically taking all that money out of your pocket, uh, letting, telling you how to wholesale trans, uh, money, uh, how, how to wholesale real estate with no money, because that's what gets everybody excited, they already know that 95% of those students will not do anything. And there's not anything you can do about it because you paid them for what they did give you. And I am trying to help those that, uh, uh, with the real knowledge, with this knowledge on the street that you're not going to get in a seminar, you're not going to get in any state license class that you're not going to get anywhere other than someone passes the information along to you which is basically called a mentor a mentor unless you have you know a rich uncle or, or you know, father or somebody that's doing the business and then they're they're telling you but th this information has been passed down and passed down for generations and generations and so working on getting your first deal i want to Make sure you don't make the mistake that I made by overpaying for property. So listen, I have a, another mentee. I do a little business consulting as well outside of real estate. And I have another mentee, young man in his mid-20s uh, that started a business uh, that 
is doing well now and now he wants to get into real estate and he told me sam sam hey you know i got a little capital now man i'm getting ready to go buy my first my first uh, quad a quad place and in a different state and i looked at him i said are you, are you asking for my help or no man i got this i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it because uh, i already got the property scoped out and i got somebody working oh who, who who's selling it to you well i got an agent up there i'm like really oh okay is that, is that the agent uh uh helping you out huh yeah 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 i'm getting ready to buy it and i'm like okay i already see you know it's sort of like the train on the tracks train coming train coming this man get ready to go and overbuy a quad because he thinks owning real estate is going to make him money and a lot of rookies newbies that's their first mistake is overbuying, thinking they're going to make money they buy their first property they overbuy and i want to help him well i i, I want to help those that are serious about the business I, <laughs> I don't know how serious he is and think he might be a little whimsical but those that are serious, I want you to make the better decisions on not overbuying a property. I've got a mentee uh, that I'm even mentoring in California. He's actually listening to me because I told him, hey, that was my very first mistake I made, buying a property that was overbought. You need to know the numbers. And it's not just the numbers on the property. It's not just the so-called ARV and the repair cost and and the comps you want to know the trends you 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 want to know what's going on out there some of the statistics out there crime rate school populations things of that nature you you want to know how to totally assess if it's a viable uh buy and then secondly when you do buy do you have room for contingencies do you have room for corrections because if you buy too high in the market corrects you you've already lost and so you want to make sure you're buying at the right price just because you own real estate doesn't mean you're making money and i want to make sure that if you haven't done your first deal or your second deal that look let's uh let's let let me help you let's let's analyze those numbers let's analyze that area first i have an infrastructure in my business that i can do that uh, fairly quickly to let you know if it's going to be a good deal or not and it's not necessarily that it's a, a good deal or not it's all really about the numbers if the numbers are a good deal just because you got a number doesn't mean it's a good deal just because it's a quadruplex or a duplex or a single family and it looks nice doesn't mean that it's a good deal just because it's 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 raggedy and distressed and tore up it doesn't mean that what you're buying at is a good deal uh, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that. There's a lot more numbers that get in. If you are interested in getting some of that information and getting some help and having someone hold your hand to get you through to your first deal or your second deal so you can have a trend in having a real estate business, if you're open to that, subscribe, follow, uh, PM me, direct message me, and let's talk. I do have a mentorship program that I try to help. I don't take on too many because I have my own business and mentors, mentoring takes up a lot of time, especially in this business. Um, a lot of conversations, things of that nature, uh, visits and all that. So I, I can't take on too many. And once I'm filled with what I can handle, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to cut it off. So you definitely want to be one of the first. Uh, otherwise, you can kind of Get invited to uh, one of my groups uh, that I do private coaching as a group. So you get a little bit more information uh, there that can help you out on a month to month basis uh, for very, very little uh, you know, effort, little expense, or whatever. But uh, I don't charge the tens and twenties and thirties and forties and fifty thousands of dollars for, for what I'm giving you because I, I know that you've already been screwed that way. Uh, so I, but I do want to help the best that I can, uh, you know, reach one, teach one, and um, I want to be able to help you get your first deal. Uh, it took me 10 months. It really shouldn't have. It should not have. But I can tell you, even when I got my first deal, I had a partner. And so that's another golden nugget. If you're going to be in this business, you want a partner. And it'll be even better to have a partner that's a bit seasoned like yours truly. <laughs> So if you're open to that, subscribe, follow, 
Look me up, Sam Melson, on Facebook. My company business is Precious World Housing Solutions. You can find out on Facebook, uh, Precious World Housing Solutions, or Sam Melson on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, you guys know social media. That's a big thing out there now. So, PM, reach out. See you at the top because it's sure crowded at the bottom.